Yo, yo, people, welcome back to some sexy Fortnite. I'm feeling a good win in this game. I have to say, 30 kills easy. You will only get close to 30 kills if I give you half of them. Haha. <laughs> I will never see you drop 15 kills in any game, let alone this one. Well, I guess we will see them, won't we, Donnie? Well, I'm so confident that you won't get 15 kills. So if you are able to get 15 kills, I will donate you my golden toilet. And you know what? I will even throw in my perfect top, the one I'm wearing now. That just shows how much of a Fortnite pro I am. I mean, I will take it as it will be funny taking it from you, but I would never wear that. It's pretty gay. Whoa, you can say that. That doesn't fit with your LGBLT sandwich agenda. Ha ha ha. Okay. You got a deal? Anyway, Donnie, I've been thinking, if you ever get tired of politics, you could always take up stand-up comedy. I mean, your whole presidency was a joke anyway. Oh, Joe, you crack me up. I'd take up comedy, but then I'd have to compete with your speeches. Those things are a riot. And don't even get me started on your no malarkey bus tour. That was comedy gold. At least people can understand me when I talk. Half the time, I can't tell if you're speaking English or just making up words. Cough Fief, anyone? Cough Fief was a classic. People loved it. It's called being a trendsetter, Joe, something you wouldn't know about considering you're still living in the past with your 1970s hair plugs. And to be honest, no one understands you with all your gibberish and slurring due to your dementia and retardation. Yeah, well, at least I don't have to spray my hair orange every morning to look presentable. You look like a carrot who had a child with a traffic cone. Or maybe you've just been munching on too much traffic cone pum pum. Bold talk coming from someone who looks like he fell asleep in the sun for about 30 years and gets zero pum pum from his own wife. And what's with those aviator sunglasses? You think you're Tom Cruise or something? As you're not, you just look like a knockoff Jeff Bezos. Hey, don't knock the aviators. They're classic, like me. And besides, it's not about how you look. It's about what you've accomplished. And considering my wrinkly ass is chilling in the Oval Office right now, and your dumb ass looks like he is in a 40-year-old virgin's man cave, I would say I've accomplished more. Uh, accomplished more. Ha ha ha. No way. I did it before you and at a younger age. Get on my level, you fucking spastic. Well, at least I didn't spend my entire presidency golfing and tweeting from the bathroom. By the way, how's that social media thing working out for you? Still banned? Or did you finally figure out how to use a burner account? Well, I'm guessing you forgot that Elon took over Twitter, so my account's been unblocked, as it's not a censored piece of shit that you fuck faces like to push. And Joe, I still have more followers than you'll ever have, believe me. People love me. They can't get enough of me. Unlike you, who puts people to sleep faster than a bottle of warm milk. People love me too, Donnie. Especially when I'm handing out ice cream. And they're going to love me even more when I win this next election. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you won't win the next election. Not because you're not good enough or that you would be outvoted by the sexiest man alive, but because you left the race your dementia is really bad, Joe. I don't like seeing one of my homies like this. I have to be honest, but at least for the sake of our country, if the Democrats somehow stay in office, then Kamala Harris won't have this problem, even though she is still shit. I kind of forgot what you just said. That was too long of a sentence. But you know what, Donnie? I miss the good old days when games were simpler. None of this complicated stuff we have now. Oh, I hear you, Joe. I do love Fortnite, don't get me wrong, but remember Black Ops 2? Now that was a real game, best Call of Duty ever, hands down. You couldn't beat those Nuketown matches. Oh, absolutely. Those were the days when you'd jump on, just to relax. Nothing like a good round of zombies on transit. The adrenaline, the teamwork. Well, except when you left me for dead. Ha ha, I like the left for dead zombie pun. And you should know leaving people behind is part of the strategy. It's every man for himself, Joe. Survival of the fittest. And let's be honest, you always had a tough time keeping up. Oh, come on, Donnie. You know I was the best sniper on the team for multiplayer. I had your back more times than I can count. And remember that time you got cornered by those zombies and I pulled off that perfect monkey bomb to save you? Well, I was definitely the better sniper I remember when FaZe tried to recruit me due to my trick shots and quick scopes. And yes, I remember that one and only time you saved me, Joe. One time, but those were the days, weren't they? Black Ops 2 was just imperfect. They don't make games like that anymore. True. You know what else I miss? Minecraft, just building stuff, no stress. 
I could spend hours mining for diamonds, building my little cabins. It was peaceful, you know. Minecraft was great. And I like how we can still sometimes go back and play it in short sprees. I remember building these huge skyscrapers, towers that would touch the sky. It was like a little piece of Trump Tower, but in a blocky world, a lot of gold, a lot of class. My server was the best server, believe me. Gold everywhere, huh? Classic Donnie. Meanwhile, I was busy trying to get my farm going. Wheat, cows, the whole deal. Kept it simple, kept it cozy. But I swear, those creepers had it out for me. Creepers, Endermen, those things were always a pain. But it was all part of the fun. You build, you explore, and then something blows up, keeps you on your toes. I think you spent more time in the dirt than out of it. It was like you were a little bit slow, even back then, ha 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 ha. Maybe, but at least I knew how to handle the mobs. Unlike you, who built walls around everything. Come on, Donnie, it's a sandbox game, not a fortress. Is that where you got an idea for the Mexican wall? Walls work, and yes, that is where I got my great idea. And you knew the wall was a great idea, Joe. Even in Minecraft, a good wall keeps the enemies out. And besides, my buildings were the talk of the server. Everyone wanted to see the Trump Tower. That's why you should have continued to build them in real life instead of take them down. Everyone is still fleeing in to see the amazing Trump Towers. Yeah, yeah, I'll admit, they were impressive in the game. But not in real life, you donut. But my little garden, that was a place to relax. Plant some flowers, watch the sunset, and Jill crouch in the pixelated horizon. Good times, man. Oh yeah, I forgot you were even a simp for Jill all the way back then, too. Fuck you, bitch. She's perfect, what do you expect? Ha ha, she's only perfect in your eyes as she is happy to peg and ball bust you. Donnie, fuck off. Thai fuck off, quoi, fuck off, yen. Ha ha, what was that bit of spastication going on? One sec, I need a reset. And you call me the donut. A few moments later. And back, Donnie, I know you missed me. Nope, quite the opposite. Shut up and just drive the Mustang like it's a Mustang. Well, that's what I'm doing, you silly sausage. Why do you keep going from cute to actually rude insults? It's kind of weird. Weird like your mom's ugly and brown pussy flaps. Shut up, Donnie. You have never seen my mom, let alone see her naked. Guessing you did not see the Black.com episode, ha ha ha. Fuck you. You know, Joe, if this whole politics thing doesn't work out, we should think about some new business ventures. Something off the books, you know what I mean? Huh? Off the books, huh? I'm listening, Donnie. What do you have in mind? Selling classified documents? as NFTs. NFTs? That's old news, Joe. I'm talking real money here. Like starting our own moonshine distillery. We could call it presidential punch. We'll have the best underground operation since prohibition. Moonshine Donnie? Isn't that a bit old fashioned? Besides, I'm more of an ice cream guy. How about we run a black market ice cream truck? Imagine it. Serving cones with a little extra something for the adults. Joe's special scoop, if you catch my drift. Oh, I catch your drift, Joe. Ice cream laced with a little enthusiasm. Now you're talking. We could sell it at all the high-end golf courses. People would pay a fortune for a taste of that. You know, make ice cream great again. And while we're at it, why not add a gambling ring? We could host underground poker games in the back of the ice cream truck. Nothing like a little high-stakes poker while enjoying a cone of Joe's secret swirl. I love it. We'll have the most exclusive ice cream poker operation ever. And it seems you got a little addicted to gambling since our last video. Ha ha ha. People will come from all over just to get a seat at the table. But we can't stop there, Joe. We need a side hustle just in case. How about a counterfeit money operation? I've heard your signature is pretty easy to forge. We could print up some Donnie dollars and pass them off as the real thing. Just don't put your face on it. No one would believe that. Counterfeit money? Nah, too risky. How about selling fake art instead? We could buy a bunch of cheap paintings, slap our signatures on them, and sell them as presidential masterpieces. People would eat that up. Presidential masterpieces. That's a good one. I can see it now. Trump's Golden Horizon and Biden's Blue Wave. Limited editions, of course. Damn, this Mustang is sexy. Might have to cop a new one in real life, not gonna lie. Donnie, when do you drive anything but a Porsche? Just a waste of money. Well, I do like my porches, that's true. But like 5% of the time, I will drive something else. Like I drive my Ferrari every once in a while. So the Mustang can be that side piece that I just don't call often. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, you do you, Donnie? I don't really give a rat's ass. Whoa, relax there, Joey boy, the PETA toy. Keep it civil. Can't be asked to bully your dumb ass even more today. 
cool, whatever. Anyway, you know, with all these side hustles we're planning, we should probably start thinking about offshore bank accounts. Got to keep that presidential punch money safe, right? Oh, absolutely. Cayman Islands, maybe? No better place to stash that ice cream money. And while we're at it, we should start our own offshore casino. Nothing like betting with cash that doesn't exist. Also, if you idiots watching don't know what we are talking about, it means you missed the first part. So go back and watch it, you sacks of shit. Whoa, Donnie, don't talk to the viewers like that. They are our friends. Also, offshore casinos, now you're talking. We could even have a presidential high roller suite, $10,000 buy-in, all bets made in Donnie dollars. You lose, you still have to pay up in real money. Now that's a scam, I mean business venture. Yeah, I like the viewers and I treat them like they're my pals. That's why I can be rude to them, you dumbass. I'm not rude to random people. Well, unless they got that China virus. And that's genius, Joe, genius. And you know what, we could rig it too. The house always wins, except we'd win every time. I'll get my team on it right away. We'll use the finest gold-plated slot machines. Classy, top-tier stuff. We might have to be careful, though. You know how people get when they lose money, especially fake money. They might start to get wise. Maybe we should throw in a free ice cream cone to keep them happy when they lose. Stupid idea with the ice cream. Most people are not as obsessed with ice cream as you are. But we can do a consolation prize of ice cream when they realize they've just been scammed. I mean played. And for the really big losers, we could give them a limited edition presidential masterpiece painting. It's like, sorry you lost your life savings. Here's some fine art to soften the blow. We're covering all angles, Donnie. And if people start getting too mad, we can open up our next venture, escape rooms, but not your regular kind. These will be political escape rooms. Lock them in, and the only way out is if they can solve a puzzle based on the national debt. And we could live stream this shit to YouTube, as I'm sure everyone would get a good laugh at these useless people. So get paid from the idiots and get paid from the YouTube ads. Sounds like free money to me. That's brilliant. We'll make the clues so impossible, they'll never get out. We'll have headlines like, can you escape Biden's budget deficit and survive Trump's tax code? Nobody's getting out without paying extra for hints. And the best part is they pay us to lock them in. It's the perfect crime. We could even do a VIP package where they get stuck in the Oval Office and have to figure out how to lower the unemployment rate to escape. Just wait until they find out we've been trying to do that for years. Ha, exactly, Joe. We can even live stream it, make it a national event, charge people to watch others suffer through our policy-based puzzles. People love that kind of stuff. Maybe throw in a surprise cameo of me just to stir things up. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. And if they manage to escape, we'll offer them a job in our next business venture, becoming personal stunt doubles for public speeches. Let them take the heat when we mess up a speech or trip on the stairs. Stunt doubles, that's genius. I'm tired of taking all the heat for saying what people don't want to hear. We hire these poor saps and boom, they're the ones everyone blames. You trip on the stairs, you send in your double. They'll think it's just a bad day for old Joe. Shut up, I never tripped on the stairs, I shit. I mean, yes, I have anyway. Are you currently a stunt double as I have never heard you talk for this long without a fat stutter? As well as coming up with actual decent ideas, this is not like the Joe Biden I know and hate. Of course I'm not a stunt double. We haven't even got the business rolling yet. Um, okay, Joe, okay. Anyway, I've had enough of business for today. I will talk about it once I've had a porn star and some golf in my hands for a few hours. But you know, Joe, I've been thinking, if this whole politics thing gets too boring, we should join a rock band. I'd be the lead singer, obviously. Tremendous vocals. Your stomy Daniel addiction's pretty bad. I have to say, also, a rock band? Donnie, you can't sing. You'd sound like a screeching cat trying to swallow a golf ball. I'd be on drums, though. Got that rhythm. Plus, I've got some serious bongo skills. Bongo skills, Joe, we're not starting a beach band. We're talking arena rock. I'd be up front, belting out hits. You'd be in the back, trying to remember which drum is which. Drums? Oh, no, no, no. I'd be great on tambourine. Just slamming that thing like it owes me money. Plus, tambourine players get all the attention, right? Tambourine, you're basically asking to be the background guy nobody remembers. You think people are gonna be screaming, look at Biden smashing that tambourine. They'll be too busy watching me tear up the stage in a leather jacket. I'd have the best jacket, by the way. Leather jacket? Please, Donnie. 
You'd look like a retired Elvis impersonator. I'd be the heartthrob of the band. Heck, I'll be crowd surfing, throwing ice cream into the audience. They'll call me Creamy Joe. Oh yeah, Creamy Joe sounds like the name of a gay porn star who had been gangbanged into oblivion. Meanwhile, they'd call me the Don. I'd have groupies chanting my name before I even step on stage. I'm talking sold out shows in every country, Joe. Even North Korea would want tickets. Shush. We know you're the only one who likes those. Oh, and sure, North Korea. That's where all the great rock bands go to headline. Maybe you can play a private concert for Kim Jong-un and hand out Trump stakes as souvenirs. Don't joke, Joe. I'd have Kim holding up a lighter during the power ballad. Tremendous connection. Speaking of concerts, though, you know where we should perform? The moon. The moon? Donnie, I think you finally lost it. You're not launching Space Force again just to play a guitar solo in zero gravity. Why not? It'd be the concert of the century. We'd perform in spacesuits, have fireworks in orbit. Elon Musk would sponsor the whole thing. I can see the headline now. Trump and Biden rock the universe. I'd hit notes so high, aliens would want an encore. Aliens, you know you're not allowed to say things about those to the public, you idiot. And also, that's a stretch, even for you. They'd probably land just to tell you to keep it down. I can see it now. Little green men knocking on your space door like, excuse me, sir, could you not? Please, Joe. People thought I was joking till you gave them details about how the- Fuck yeah! Easy win your shit, Joe, but I am a monster at this game. Could have finished your sentence, you donut. Shush!